This morning, the president is responding to reports he used vulgar language to describe Haiti, El Salvador, and African countries. Fox 23's Jacqueline Fell is live in Washington, where the president has already sent six tweets this morning. Good morning. The fallout from a Washington Post report saying the president used an expletive to describe developing countries was swift. Many Democrats condemning the comment, even calling it, quote, racist. The president's denying it on Twitter. His latest tweet reads, never said anything derogatory about Haitians other than Haiti is obviously a very poor and troubled country. The president says he has a wonderful relationship with Haitians, adding probably should record future meetings. The Washington Post reports the comment was made during an Oval Office meeting with lawmakers about a bipartisan immigration deal. The White House originally did not deny President Trump used the vulgarity. I have since reached out to the White House for clarification. A bipartisan group of lawmakers worked to reach a deal to protect young immigrants who were brought to the U.S. as children. The president firmly rejected the agreement, calling it a big step backwards. Now, the president does say that he used tough language at that Oval Office meeting, but not the language reported. Reporting live in Washington, covering news that matters, Jacqueline Fell, Fox 23 News.